What's up guys, Grim here. I read all of your comments in the previous video that I talked about possibly putting other game content on this channel and almost all of you were in favor of it. Uh, a couple of you guys were not in favor of it, but I'm really not sure where else that we can go with the channel in order to grow if we do not expand into other games. I could put stuff on the other channel, but I don't know, man. Uh, I don't really have the time to keep another channel fully operating like a normal YouTube channel needs to be in order to grow and prosper. And so I'm going to start slapping some other gameplay on this channel and let's see how it goes. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button on the videos that you guys like so I know exactly what games that are appealing to you guys. Uh, some of them may not be that interesting and if you don't like them don't hit the thumbs up button just don't be hitting the thumbs down button because that's that's like completely counterproductive to the channel this is going to be the first video basically dabbling into these other games and exactly what i'm playing why it may be interesting for you to watch and hopefully you guys will enjoy it so first we're going to start out with Rift because this is the main game that I'm playing and the one that I enjoy the most. This is a free to play fantasy MMORPG that is much like the World of Warcraft type of games that it is basically a hack and slash type of game but it is based around monsters coming out of these rifts in the sky and all the fun stuff that can go into it along with the PvP combat that is actually really really good in this type of genre because Rift PvP is generally based around action rather than CC abilities or crowd control as it's called. Like every MMO on the market, PvP is always a rough field to actually check and balance because everybody disagrees on the duration of crowd control abilities, uh, the class balances, and also the gearing changes. So Rift actually does it a little bit better than most other games that I've played. So that's why the PvP combat in Rift actually appeals to me and something that I will be featuring as always on this channel. Add in amazing graphics and exciting gameplay and Rift is the number one game for me. As I would play Rift, I would hear more and more about other trying games and the main game that most people talked about was Trove. This is a voxel game where the graphics are very blocky, much like a Minecraft. Minecraft. The big difference between Trove and Minecraft is that Trove is actually skewed more towards an MMO type of feel. You have guilds, you have adventures, you have quests, you have so many different things that you can do in Trove that is normally not the standard gameplay of like Minecraft. For somebody like me, I am a heavy favorite of MMO style of gameplay. So whenever you actually add the mechanics of an MMO into a different platform, such as a voxel game like this, you actually come out with a really good product. With the voxel format appealing to a younger crowd, much like Minecraft does, and then the MMO mechanics into it, which appeal to an older crowd, it has a balance to it that makes it very fun for me to play and enjoy. As I was playing Trove, I began to learn about a cross promotion between Trove and the other try on game called Defiance. They put on a special Hellbug event for Valentine's Day and basically if you PvP'd in Trove and gained 5 PvP levels basically, you would get a special weapon in Defiance. And vice versa if you went over into the Defiance game and played it and actually killed 50 of the Hellbug Matriarchs, you would get a special mount hellbug in the game of Trove. Asking me to PvP in the game is like giving candy to a baby and I automatically knocked out the five levels on Trove and I wanted to go to Defiance to see what the actual weapon is that I'm going to get. Not only that, but I wanted to complete the Defiance goals in order to get this special mount on Trove because I am taking an interest in Trove. I would like to get the nice Hellbug mount as well. I had no idea what I was getting myself into because I was blown away by the game of Defiance. Defiance is an MMO shooter game that is quite different than the typical shooter game that you're used to. It was originally created as a tie-in with the sci-fi series called Defiance. This game can not only be played on the PC, but also the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. For somebody like me, I am terrible at shooter games, so I was very much dreading playing this game until I actually played it and seen what it was about. Right off the bat, I noticed that the accuracy of your shots matter, but they 
don't matter as much as a typical shooter. You can be shooting straight at the enemy and being on point, but yet your weapon will miss some depending on the skill that your character has with that particular weapon. So as you're playing the game, you will become more and more skilled with typical weapons such as shotguns or machine guns or sniper rifles. Whatever your character gets good at, it will actually hit more often with that weapon. Skill with a weapon is actually where you get much of your progression in this game, but it must be said that the playing field is much more even than a typical MMO. Take for instance, I can go to an area where the most skilled players in the game are fighting monsters and I can shoot these monsters as well and I'm not going to miss every single time. I'm going to hit these monsters and I'm going to contribute towards the team winning the battle. Me shooting the monster is pretty much the same as a veteran player shooting the monster because it will do the same damage. It's just that the veteran player will actually hit a little bit more than I will but yet the playing field is pretty even overall. But the thing that stands out about this game is that the excitement and adrenaline rush is real. It is unbelievable the tension that you have in these massive fights. With enemies shooting at you and bombs going off everywhere, it's like anywhere you turn there is something going to happen and you better be ready for it. Let's just say that Defiance was the hugest shock moment for me because I had no idea I would like a game like this, let alone have so much fun in such a short period of time. Not only did I have a blast, but I got to go back to Trove and enjoy my Hellbug mount. After being so surprised with how much I enjoyed Defiance, I decided to give another Tryon game a test run, and that was Devillian. This is an action RPG much like that you will see in a game like Diablo and other types of formats like that, but it does what most other of the Tryon games is doing, which I'm a huge fan of, and that is adding MMO elements into these types of games. So you basically have a dungeon crawling, quest doing type of format, but then it adds in things like guilds and marketplaces and PvP and all these other things that you typically will not see in a normal game like this. So if you've ever played Diablo, this is much like that type of game where it's a top-down action RPG and you're running around doing all these quests and going into these dungeons and fighting absolutely awesome looking monsters. The boss fights are very exciting and so cool looking, I just cannot get over the awesomeness that these bosses are. There are many elements of this game that I can get into, but basically I'm going to sum it up in what stands out the most to me. While you're leveling up your character and enjoying the game, you will also be leveling up your alternate ego, basically, which is your Davillion side. In the midst of a really intense fight, you can transform into your devil form, and this is a more powerful version of yourself. It's basically your character on steroids. It's so much stronger and does so much more damage Damage. it's awesome to morph into this and absolutely destroy everything in your path besides the cool concept of playing a half human half devil the other thing that sticks out is the nail-biting excitement of the gameplay it's very common to fight mobs of enemies in this game but you always have to wonder did you take on too many enemies and if this boss is going to kill you with this ultimate attack that it has pointed straight at you right now these are some of the main games that we're going to be featuring on this channel for the most part because these are the games that I'm having the most fun with. Not to say that we won't be delving into other games such as maybe Guild Wars 2, uh, Hearthstone, and perhaps even giving Arc Age another look because whenever I played it way back in the day, I max leveled a character, but then I got sidetracked by playing too much Rift and I really didn't give Arc Age much of a try. We'll see if they can entice me to come back to it because I think I would really enjoy giving it another shot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe it gave you a sneak peek in some of these other games. As usual, my name is Grim and I'll see you next time.